Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, May 6, 2015. Hope you're having a good trading week. Here's a look at the uh, ES front month futures contract. We had talked yesterday about how we ran into that green static trend line again right at the high of Monday and could not get through on a light volume session. And sure enough, we rolled over today and had a big down day. Uh, S&P lost, uh, we'll go through them real quick. Uh, S&P lost 25 points to the close. NDX, the NASDAQ 100, lost 73. This does not look good on a chart here. The Sox lost 15. And the uh, Biotech Index lost 73 or 74 points. And this does not look good. A close under this low from three days ago leaves us wide open for a drop at least down to the red static trend line. And remember, this is still operating off of that 13 seeker sell signal that Rich pointed out did a separate YouTube video over a week ago on, and the, the biotechs have been in collapse ever since. Uh, Google lost almost 10 points after rebounding to the 10 EMA on uh, Monday. Uh, Apple lost almost three. Nothing about this chart looks good. I think that red static trend line is probably in play here. The VIX finally woke up on the market roll, up 1.46 to 1431. Crude oil up again, closed above 60 for the first time since Christmas. Gold was up 6.5 points. I'm going to do volume first here to show you. It was a 1.8 billion share day, just a little above that. And that's a good day volume-wise, which is why we had so many winners today. It was a great trading day for us. The one thing that you have to focus on here and understand is the trend. This is the 10-day uh, blue line is the 10-day moving average of the trend. Now, all day the trend was pretty low, but it was climbing. And we did get a close at 1.06 for the day. And that keeps the 10-day moving average at 0.87. Now, it was looking like it might be lower, like about 0.83. The key here is that whenever the 10-day moving average of the trend dips below 0.85, that is usually a ginormous sell signal for the market. So we had a big down day today, and we were heading towards a big sell signal. Now, it's not there yet. Uh, matter of fact, if I go back and go 10 days back on the trend, uh, the 10 days ago is actually that low print at point by two thirds of the way through April. That's just above the 0.5, which means that's going to come off the 10 day moving average tomorrow. So that's a low number coming out of the average. We'll turn the moving average probably back up. Now, the next day is a big up day, uh, the highest of the 10. So that's going to come off two days from now. So we're going to be, it'll be interesting to see, but we are essentially very near a massive sell signal in the market from the trends perspective, at least. So let's be aware of that. Uh, going forward and obviously the short side of the market as we talk about a lot of times as long as you get with it a lot easier to make money than uh, than the long side of the market uh, you know for example today we have fire eye on, on the short side I'll pull up some of these stocks you know, look at how these things just fall apart when the market starts to roll uh, we had uh, Baba Alibaba on the short side made some good money this morning for us a uh, real good breakdown there there was Apple Rich had uh, the Apple short uh, that worked. So, uh, you know, a lot of nice trades today. We had uh, we were seven out of eight for our stock trades, and just a big winning session in general. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the uh, what the futures did intraday. Just so uh, we're on the same page. This was interesting. We gapped down. We reached up to fill the gap in the second bar uh, to the tick. The high of the day is the exact close from the prior session, and then we rolled over and went lower and lower and lower. By the way, the lo uh, the low of the day on the ES is the S4 level off the pivot series. Very rare to get to the four, the, e, the R4 or the S4 in the markets. Uh, so it was a big range day for us, at least compared to the prior day, which was kind of flat. So that keeps that pivot series kind of narrower. But uh, to get to S4, we could not get through it. To the tick, literally, that was the low uh, of the trading day. And here's the NASDAQ side. This did not fill the gap, gap down and kept going. Uh, so be aware of that. Notice the 13 sell signal on Monday morning is still the high of the week on the uh, NQs. All right, so what do we have going forward here now? Well, certainly I, I have a note of caution about the market. But be careful on the long side unless the futures are heading up. Uh, it's going to be dangerous. And then in terms of data, we've got the uh, MBA mortgage index at 7 a.m. Eastern time. ADP employment change at 8.15. Preliminary productivity and unit labor costs at 8.30. Crude oil inventories an hour into the market. Uh, and then that leaves uh, a couple of data points for Thursday and then the unemployment rate with non-farm payroll data on Friday. Um, so be very aware of all this. This is a key point. The market does feel like there's something potentially going on here, finally, after some some slow sessions. 
uh, for the last couple months. But hopefully, uh, the thing to focus on is, are we finally going to get out of this range? Here's the S&P one more time, the ES front month futures contract. Are we finally going to get out of this range that we've been in? Or are all we going to do here is just sell off down to that red static trend line, which is still, you know, it's a 45-point move, but that's not massive. I'd like to get going somewhere a little more aggressive in the market instead of being stuck in this range. And I think the, the market's starting to show you signs that it could do that. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. We will be in the lab helping you make money. If you have not taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. If you do like these videos or find them useful, please like them on YouTube. It does help us out. Have a great trading day on Wednesday.